Hello, my name is Paweł and this is Smart Mode 3, which is a reference design developed by Nordic. Today I would like to show you its great debugging and profiling features. We'll start by describing topology of the system that will be used throughout the presentation. Interactive console is running as part of the firmware on the Smart Remote device. Console can be used by developer to interact with the device at runtime and is accessible from the host using UART, RTT and Bluetooth backends. Apart from the HID feature, the device offers audio streaming functionality. During this session, the device is connected to the host via Bluetooth. Voice stream is transmitted one way from the device to the host, while a bidirectional link is used for the interactive console. First, we'll show Bluetooth console, which is a component that can be used for a dynamic control and inspection of the connected device. Let's go to the system settings to check if the smart remote is bonded with the host system. We can see that it is. Pressing volume buttons on the device causes HID events to be registered. In the sound settings menu, we can see that the device is registered as an audio input device via an Audic voice system. Now we will start the Bluetooth console. It is initially disconnected from the device, which is indicated by the gray color of the background. Let's connect to the device by selecting it from the drop-down list. After a connection is established, commands can be entered. Pressing Tab triggers auto-completion, which allows easy exploration of the command tree. For example, we can type audio info to get information about the audio subsystem. Now we'll demonstrate the dynamic control of the audio subsystem. To observe effects that executed commands have on the audio, we'll monitor it using Audacity. In the window, we can see that amplitude level of the recorded audio stream is low. We can increase the input level by increasing the value of audio gain. Audio settings can be controlled using the console. Gain can be increased in audio driver gain subsection. Let's increase the value of gain to 20. The amplitude of the recorded stream became higher as a result. Root console can be used for remote inspection of the device and changing of the parameters uh, at runtime. Let's go back to the console. As an example of a dynamic interaction with the system, we can control audio compression bitrate. By executing audio codec info, we can get current settings of a codec. In our case, chosen algorithm is Opus Celt with variable bitrate. By default, for the Bluetooth backend, only error messages are visible. To have more detailed view of the system, we need to change the logger parameters. Let's issue log enable warning command. Without specifying a module name, it will affect all the modules in the system. As before, we can use Audacity to monitor how the commands impact recorded audio. Additionally, we'll observe the size of the Bluetooth packets being transmitted. Let's start by setting the codec bitrate to a constant value of 32 kilobits per second. After this change, size of the Bluetooth packet is increased. In this configuration of Smart Remote 3, audio is transmitted as HID data. When we increase the bitrate further, the packet size changes too, as the encoded frame is bigger. For 128 kilobits per second, we expect problems with transmission, if the distance between the remote and the host is too large. Now to test the range of the Bluetooth, I will give the device to my colleague who will walk with it through the office. First, frame loss warning appears indicating maximum range of reliable transmission for this configuration. Let's lower the bitrate to 64 and try again. For the same range and distance, there are no warnings this time. It means no audio frames are lost. This concludes the example of using console commands to change firmware parameters at runtime. Remember that you can create your own commands to do anything you want in the system. Thank you for watching. Remember that you can always get help by going to Nordic's DevZone. See you next time.